The Nebraska Game and Parks Commission currently operates five state fish hatcheries, but did you know Mother Nature once shut one down? The Crawford, Nebraska station was established in 1927 under the oversight of the U.S. Department of the Interior. The facility was built by the WPA, the Works Progress Administration. This agency provided jobs for the unemployed, primarily unskilled men. The first production season was 1932, and it worked all varieties of game fish into the early 1970s. Then it concentrated solely on trout. In 1983, budget cuts were to close Crawford and other national hatcheries. The Nebraska Game and Parks Commission took over in 1984, thanks in large part to the legislature. Approval was given for a $5 trout stamp to help fund the Crawford operation. 17,000 stamps were sold the first year. But the existence of the facility came to a devastating end in the afternoon of May 10, 1991. An hour-long storm dropped seven inches of rain and baseball-sized hail in Sioux County. The adjacent White River flash flooded Crawford with a 15 to 18 foot wall of water. Hatchery ponds and raceways were buried in mud and silt. Over 40,000 catchable trout were lost and 250,000 fingerlings were wiped out. Structures incurred heavy water damage. It wasn't the first time the hatchery had experienced flooding, but it would be the last. The history of flooding and the formidable cost of rebuilding meant the end of the hatchery. The property is now a part of the Crawford community park. The Crawford Fish Hatchery, a part of Nebraska's outdoor heritage.